All right, ladies and gentlemen, the seven star Terra Steel Blastoise Raid is now here in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I'm going to attempt solo again with Claude Sire. Typically when I do this type of videos, I like to showcase the entire fight. That way you can see just how I beat the raid successfully. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying to use Terra Ground Claude Sire with Metronome and Water Absorb to take down the Terra Steel Blastoise. So, Claude Sire doesn't have a whopping special attack, and we can't use Acid Spray in this fight. So, I'm thinking Metronome potentially could be the way to go with your item, because Claude Sire has some really nice natural special defense and bulk overall. So I'm going to start off the fight by going for one Amnesia, and then I'm just going to go for Mud Slaps to try to get to Terra as fast as possible. And I just realized that this Blastoise starts off in the shield phase. Um, yeah, so let's see how this works for us. We'll use Mud Slap three times, and then we're gonna go for our Terra. And the nice thing about using Mud Slap here is that we're lowering accuracy on top of that. But yeah, I'm hoping that Max Special Attack, Modest Nature, Terra Ground, plus Metronome will be enough for Claude Sire to actually overcome this fight. It's not going to be the fastest KO, but it will be pretty consistent, hopefully. That's the idea of this build. Right, so we're going to Terra now and start going for Earth Powers. As you can see, we don't really need Shell Bell because we're not really taking damage. And I can always go for a heal cheer if it's really necessary. But yeah, let's get our Terra Ground Claude Sire popping off here. I'm hoping that we can stack this metronome and start doing some significant damage. But we'll see. It's gonna It's gonna be pretty weak overall. I mean I think Claude Sire has a base like 45 special attack. But yeah. Where it doesn't shine in offense, it has in special defense, so. Let's see. Metronome might just be a really synergistic item for this fight for Claude Sire. Alright, let's see. We're on turn three of Earth Power. And yeah. Just keep going. Dude. I wanted to use Claude Sire because it's extremely accessible to people being a Pokemon that's in both games and also relatively easy to obtain. There also is a slight chance Earth Power, by the way, can potentially lower the special defense of Blastoise. And the reason why we don't need Shell Bell 2 is also because of Water Corp. As you saw there, we actually just got healed up by Blastoise. So, that's always nice. But I mean, so far this isn't too shabby. I mean, I'm thinking maybe once we break through the shield it'll go a little bit faster. We'll find out. But, um... Yeah, maybe it sh it might even be worth putting Acid Spray on this over Terra Blast for the, like... Oh wait, what am I saying? I, we can't Acid Spray no matter what. I don't know what I was thinking. Acid Spray can't be used in this fight whatsoever, excuse me. I misspoke there. But now we're on our 7th Earth Power, and actually Metronome might be helping out. Because it does look like we're taking... Claude Sire's abysmal special attack and actually kind of making it work. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're actually about... I think the next turn we break through the shield, so we'll see what happens. Come on. And as you can see, we could kind of tank these moves relatively good, regardless of what's going on here. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate, but I could always impeach up if I need to. Alright, we should break through the shield now. And let's see how long it takes to actually take down this fight at this point. It goes for Shell Smash. Okay, that is a little scary, but also kind of nice. Especially if it doesn't remove the negative effects from itself here. Um, I'm going to use Amnesia real quick. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to go for a Hang Tough. Because if it hits me with a water move, it's going to hurt. And I want to be able to live. Alright. 
Oh, maybe I could have got the Amnesia off. Oh, I guess it didn't really matter. It missed the... It didn't even attack the turn I lost my ability. That's so strange. I'm gonna go for one Amnesia just to kind of balance out things here. And then we'll just continue our Onslaught with Earth Power. I think we might be able to do a little bit more damage now that the shield's down. We'll find out. Yeah. Okay, actually, this is looking pretty solid. I know it's kind of slow, but it's pretty consistent. And I'm trying to think, would there be any moves that would perform a little bit better? Maybe putting Protect on this could actually be viable on that turn it removes your ability. But they did lower, it did lower its special defense one stage. So it is a little significant here. And yeah, we could still take these moves nicely. So yeah, I'd say Cloud Sire is looking like we're gonna be able to beat this raid. It's now that we're back in the motion of using Earth Power as well. And we do have, we'll see if we need something like Terra Blast. I do have max PP on my Earth Power. I do recommend if you're gonna run this strategy, you absolutely need your max PP on Earth Power. So it removed negative effects from itself, which is a little annoying, but I think we're okay still. We're gonna keep using Earth Power and then we'll just switch to Terra Blast. Maybe we, <laughs> excuse me, maybe we do need the Terra Blast in this fight regardless. We'll see. I mean, we are starting to get to a point where we're catching up with the timer finally for the first time in the fight. Getting hit with like a pretty much like a full heal there which is nice yeah i think we'll catch up with the timer and then we can switch to terror blast potentially maybe i should do an attack cheer before i go for terror blast just to give myself a little bit of an offensive boost okay we're getting close okay it's nice that the blast was paralyzed but i don't feel like aim its attacks are really doing much to me regardless at this point All right, yeah, I'd say at this point, if they're watching this, this is definitely a build you can run and probably consistently beat it. That's the first time I got a special defense drop this entire fight, and that will actually help out here a lot. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go for one more Earth Power since it will be getting that boost from Metronome. And then I think I might go for an attack cheer and start going for Terra Blast for the rest of the fight. Yeah. I'm gonna do one attack cheer. That way my squad's also getting an attack boost. And then Terra Blast for the entirety of the rest of the fight. Yeah, I think this moveset, unless I state otherwise in my comments below, def definitely just run the one I recommended because it looks like we do need to actually have this backup move and I don't know if you need to PP the it doesn't seem like we're gonna need the PP terror blast as well but we definitely need that secondary special attacking round move in this fight and as you can see it's getting close but it's it's a pretty consistent build like we we are we're not gonna die this entire fight and I imagine in group play you could probably build of, like a team with like helping hand and support to really just tank out the fight with ease but as you can see yeah that's a, a gg we, we have a decent amount of time left on the timer it's slow and consistent that's pretty much the way this build is but it's accessible and anyone can really just build this on the fly with ease in your game and that's one of the main reasons why i want to use this as the raid guide today so yeah, there you go. I think we have to just hit it one more time here, and that's going to be GG. It looks like the NPC actually got the KO. So yeah, I'm going to pick a Pokeball here. I think I'm going to catch it in the lower ball. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if this video helped you out at all, please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. It does help my content reach a wider audience here on YouTube. With that being said, Sasquatch is getting stronger each and every day. You have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.